Open Heavens on the Go, Thursday, June 25th, 2020. Topic, Thirst for the Holy Spirit. Thirst for the Holy Spirit. Memory verse, John 15, 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. John 15, 5. Bible reading, 2 Kings 6, 1-7. And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too strait for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them. And when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. And he cried and said, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, We are fell it. And he showed him the place. And he cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, Take it up to thee. And he put out his hand and took it. The message. Revival comes through total obedience to the word of God. This is why the Bible admonishes us to preach the word and spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ as a matter of urgency. However, Christians should wait to be sent forth and must never go alone, that is, without the Holy Spirit. Luke 24, 49 says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Romans 8.17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. At the hearing of the word of God, the corrupt and sinful mind immediately begins to do a self-analysis, followed by personal conviction and repentance. Romans 10.14 says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? However, all these will not yield the desired results unless the work is accompanied by the power of the Holy Spirit. Acts 1.8 says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. As we strive to populate the church building, we must remember our greater duty to prepare the people of God for heaven through the correct and unbiased teaching of the word of God. As you make up your mind to live in obedience to his word and take every opportunity to share the gospel with at least one person daily, do not go without the Holy Spirit. Every Christian needs the help of the Holy Spirit to fulfill the will of God for his or her life. As you earnestly seek to be filled with the Holy Spirit, your prayers will be answered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point. Father, please fill me with the power of the Holy Ghost to win souls for Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Amen. Bible reading in one year. 1 Kings 15 and 16. 2 Chronicles 17. Him for today. Deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.